Jebuti. Target Bravo. Secure or destroy. This is not Viola. Destroy. Jebuti. I'll kill you. Noman made a vengeful ghost. Damn. AI deletion is complete. It's only a program. All it can do is carry out its orders. That's right. Programs cannot override orders. How miserable. Ken, it's gonna get real hot here. Let's get out now. Hey, I've never piloted without an AI. Now, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Have all you rookie runners forgotten how to pilot yourselves? Just help me! Shame on you, yet you're always bragging to me. Dingo! Just say you're sorry. Tell me you're sorry for having to depend on me. No way! Then do it yourself. Ah! Hey, Ken! Jeez. Things. This is useful. Take it. We have obtained the device driver for the sub-weapon, Wisp. If I'm falling, catch me with it. You can also pull a distant enemy closer to you. Here they come. I'll grab you and take you to the top. Let's go. Oh my god, finally I can talk. Carry it to the top of the installation. To grab, press the circle button. Dingo, help me! Enemy reinforcements are confirmed. Eliminate the enemy orbital frame first. Okay, everyone, welcome to the stream. That was stressful. Um, hi, if you missed the beginning of the stream, I had to fight a boss. In fact, hold on, let me make sure that y'all can hear me. Um, hmm. Okay, so... Um, hi, hello, it is I, me, what, huh, I don't know, I'm kind of just stressed out now, because if y'all missed it, I had to basically finally beat the boss that's been giving me problems ever since I rebought the bitch, and although I love this game, that fourth Viola fight is fucking dick. Are you gonna finish that turn of phrase, or, nope. God, Ken, please tell me you did not, oh, thank God, alright, Ken, if you die, I swear to God, I might actually have to replace this game, my repertoire, with God damn, uh, Rampa V3, oh, no, 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 I wish I was kidding, when I say that the fourth Viola fight is the most hated boss fight in all the goddamn fucking uh, Zone of the Enders game. It's so janky because it's all about hack and slash. Not about trying to do stuff with a lot of different strategic stuff unless you had to. It's more or less just like stop, wait, and then all of a sudden forced timing events. That's the whole vibe for how to fucking do the fourth Viola fight. When you had to do stuff on the fly and actually use your head in the heat of combat, aka what most hack and slash stuff is supposed to be. But... Hey, come back. Ken, would you shut the fuck up? I'm explaining stuff to my viewers. 
Anyway. So, not only is it one of the most egregious fights in the franchise, it's probably the one that people point out when they're just like, Oh, Zone of the Enders is a terrible fucking game. There's no merit. It makes it seem like it's oh so trash. No, no, no. It's the fucking fourth Viola fight that is Garbo. I've never been so upset about a mech fight until that... And just having to fucking relive that shit is bad enough. Like, normally I would take the L no matter what. I'll make light of it. But no, this time I will definitely say it's not even my own thought process. It's the fandom. And Ken, I swear to God, this is why I hate escort missions. Matter of fact, your orbital frame is built for. Oh, right, because you don't know how to fucking fly or fight without a goddamn AI. Oh, Dingo, I'm so helpless because I don't know how to pilot my own ship without somebody's hit. Hey, here we are. Uh, yeah. Indeed, I can't believe that you've managed to survive till now. Well, it's just normal. Wait, I got a communication. What a troublemaker. A good match for you. Stop joking. Sorry, but I have not been programmed to joke. You really are a funny computer, aren't you? Funny. <laughs> you and that kid Leo are far more of a perfect match. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> They've activated Almon. Let's hurry. Wait. I have to go someplace else first. What? We have no means to resist Anubis trickery. Anubis is far too speedy. Just a moment, I need a function to resist that. But... I'll ask Lloyd for his cooperation. He's a systems engineer for orbital frames. When I was a trainee, he took good care of me. Lloyd? He's an odd fellow. But his skills are supreme. Exactly. It was Lloyd who analyzed the battle strength of Anubis, but... It's good for us then. Let's ask him to boost Jehuti's programming. You know the place? Air's Cliff has a lab on the top. He's there, but you can be sure it's heavily protected. I'll guide you. Okay, get in now. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, now. Uh, oh. <sighs> Sorry about that. Huh? I'm sorry. Hmm. Uh, Are you from Marineris? Uh, yes. The northern part, Tharsis. It's far from the canyon. Did you volunteer for this duty? My father was also a soldier. Tharsis. So you were at the Olympus base? Yeah. Hey, why were you in Balram? Some slogan fooled me into doing it. For the freedom and independence of Mars? It must have been a joke. The reality was just destruction and dictatorship. I often wondered about Noman's orders, though. But I couldn't get out of it until that crisis happened. You mean your final mission? They needed to take the Metatron to a lab on Jupiter, and we were an escort for them. And then? We escorted the Metatron to Antilia Colony. After completing the mission, we were heading back to the camp on Callisto. On the way, we encountered an enormous number of the Space Force. There were so many, they covered the horizon. They ambushed us. In those days, the orbital frame was still in the experimental stage. They were on the latest Earth-built model. We were on LEVs. There was an incredible performance difference between them and us. I asked for immediate reinforcements, but can you imagine how Noman answered me? Just give up, he said. He was smiling at the time. That was the very same Noman who leaked our situation to Earth. He let them ambush us. He killed my pals. He sold out his own unit? A sacrifice. Noman had already taken the Metatron without Earth's permission. So he needed to pretend that the mission had failed. My company had been abandoned. I threw myself wholeheartedly into the battle in order to encourage my pals. 
I told them reinforcements would arrive soon. When I came to, I realized the Space Force had already gone back. Every single one of my pals was completely destroyed. Some civilian workers in Callisto were killed too. I made up my mind not to return to Baram again. Ever. Didn't you want to avenge the deaths of your pals? What could I have done? You could have returned to Baram and risen in revolt. If you did, everyone would have been on your side. Noman had been trying to kill me. If I did go back, he would kill me. Actually, that's what happened. But... You saw it, didn't you? Even knowing Baram was wrong, you still agreed to work for Noman? Use power for the right things. At least for the things that you believe in. <laughs> so who's second hand? Huh? It's not easy, is it? But I'm... Forget it. Let's talk about it after all our work is done. But... We have no time, right? Around Lloyd's lab, there are some fixed rapid-fire weapons to prevent invasion. You must advance while steering clear of them. The area is strictly guarded. If anything, it's totally the old man's preference. Though it looks like an ordinary plane, there are plenty of armaments buried in the ground to fight off any invasion. We have only one route to get there. Listen to my instructions carefully and do exactly as I tell you. And if I drop on the way? You'll get a better tan than you can in an Elysium resort. Stop right here. I fucking At love first, this go game, straight. dude. If you stray off the safe route, I'll point out the right direction. When you want to change direction, stop and turn there. You mean I only change direction without moving? To change your direction, simply use the right stick. If I say stop, be sure to stop moving. Then wait for the next instruction. I see. Then let's go. Move forward in a straight line. Fuck. Good. Move forward. Wait, stop. No, do you want to die? Correct the direction. To your left. Left a little bit more. Good. Move forward. Stop. Slowly correct the direction little by little. To your right. To your right. To your right. Oh my god. To your right. To your right. To your right. I'm going to I hate this. Nocturne's gonna have a field day watching Good. me suffer. Cause I know this man by now. Stop. Slowly correct the direction little by little. Right, a little bit more. Right, a little bit more. Left 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 a little bit more. What the fuck? Right, move forward. Wait, stop. Correct your direction. To your left. Oh my god. To your left. Left a little bit more. Good. Move forward. <sighs> stop. Correct your direction. To your right. <sighs> to your right. 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 Oh my god. Right. A little bit more. Oh my god. Right. A little bit more. Oh my. A little bit more. Right. A little bit more. Right. A little bit more. Right. A little bit more. Good. Move forward. I hate you so much. this time oh my god uh such bullshit wait stop correct your direction
direction. To your right. Uh, to your right. To your right. I'm turning right, right bitch. A little bit more. Oh my god. A little bit more. Right. A little bit more. Right. A little bit more. <sighs> A little bit more. Good. Move forward. <sighs> First, reduce the enemy with sub weapons. Cyclops destroyed. Fuck your sub weapons, bitch. Reaction gone. Enemy destroyed. We obtained the device driver of the sub weapon, Halberd. If you press the circle button, it radiates a powerful laser cannon. <laughs> you thought your browser was hung, hung or something? Wait, now I'm confused. What did it happen? Yeah, a little oh, bit more. Stop it! You're killing me! Correct the direction. To your left. To your left. To your left. Good. Move forward. I might punch Ken in the titty. Oh, wait a minute. Slowly correct the direction little by little. Right, a little bit more. Oh my right, god! A more. Left a little bit more. To your left. Left a little bit more. 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 Oh my god. A bit more. Oh my god. Move forward. I feel oh, like you sh you're sawing my own arm Correct off. The direction. To your right. To your right. Right. A little bit more. Right. A little bit more. How do you think I Good. feel, Emmy? How do you think I feel? And I'm playing this. Be careful. To cancel lock on, keep pressing the L2 button. Uh, just so, god damn it I How in Alright first I'm saving Cause that is horse shit And congrats guys This file is now a lot more ahead of it than my personal one, because I chose to stop playing, so I could just be like, oh, okay, now that I remembered stop. how to stop with everything with the boss, right. let me just show right. you guys on screen. Good. Now Good. I'm just like, you fucking asshole. Not you guys, you, but stop. Konami. Correct your direction. Left a little bit more. Good. Move forward. <sighs> Ken, I don't know if you know this, but I hate you right now. Oh, wait a minute. Correct the direction. To your right. Right, a little bit more. Right, a little bit more. Right, a little bit more. Good, move forward. Oh, this is why I probably have Thank anger you. issues. To cancel lock on, keep pressing the L2 button. your direction good move forward I didn't even do anything oh right I was charging my own uh, Metatron that's on me
stop. Correct your direction. Right. A little bit more. Oh my god. Ken, do you want to drive? Do, do you want to drive, Ken? Drive. Because I'll let you drive. Do, do you want to drive, Ken? I will let you drive so you can shut the fuck up. Correct the direction to your left. This is why I hate backseat Good. gaming. This this is here. This is why I hate backseat gaming. The stream clearly says no back see, Ken breaks the rules. Uh stop. Uh we're on this side and the other side is Oh, no. Yeah, maybe. Correct the direction. Good. Move forward. Stop. Correct your direction. To your right. Good. Move forward. <laughs> okay, so you don't want to die, but you're telling me to... S <sighs> Tell you guys, I love this game. I love it. But there are segments that I hate. Like most games I love. Stop. Correct your direction. To your left. To your left. To your left. <laughs> to your left. Bitch. Left a little bit more. Bitch. Left a little bit more. Left a little bit more. What the? F Good. Move forward. Why? Wait, stop. Correct your direction. <laughs> to your right. To your right. Right. A little bit more. <laughs> right. A little bit more. Right. A little bit more. <laughs> Good. Move forward. <laughs> People probably tuned in just like, stop. V, do you hate Correct women? No, I left. don't. I adore women. I do. Left a little bit more. Good. Move forward. But Ken is digital. I have no fucks to give Missiles because you know they're not real. I had this weird conversation with someone where just like, do you hate women because you shit talk fictional people? And I'm just like, how the fuck does that correlate to me with women in real life? Like, someone finally got me to finally watch uh, Rising of the Shield Hero, because I don't really watch anime, like, talking about it, talking about it. And all of a sudden, I left field, they were just like, do you hate women? And I'm like, I'm sorry, how does that correlate? Because the main character has something going on for, like, the first season, if you guys don't know the show, that I kind of relate to as a and from a year uh, prior stop. that's mother stuff Correct that happened direction. to your left to your left left a little bit more and the whole thing left is the person more. that did this Good. is a bitch Good. but they're also you know fictional they're 2D and i as well as many other people have been like fictional character is a bitch they're the c Wait, word the da -da 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 -da. But this is the first time I ever got right. hit so hard with just right. like, do you a hate women more. because you're right. calling a someone fictional Good. a bitch? And that had me looking all sideways, just like, how does this correlate when this isn't even a real person? I respect people of all things, and I call everyone of every gender. Men, women, trans, Apache helicopter, I call everyone a bitch. Because everyone is a bitch. I'm a bitch. Everyone that watches me can know and tell I call everyone a bitch because equal opportunity to be bitches. But I digress. That was still just the weirdest thing to me because I'm like, I don't hate women. I hate fictional characters. I will always hate fictional characters. It is the crux of me being who I am because they're not real. 
I don't hate real life people except for like a few guys that I know, but that's because they kind of deserve it. But I don't hate women. That was still just so far out of left field. I looked at myself like, what the fuck? Why would I hate women because I call someone fictional a bitch? Am I supposed to now be racist because I called the Mongols dickholes for trying to steal Japan? Slowly correct the direction little by little. Right, a little bit more. Left, a little bit more. Left, a little bit more. Oh, what the- Right, a little bit more. Good, move forward. Wait, what do you mean, Emmy? I'm co Wait, stop. Correct your direction. Ken, Left, will you more. shut the fuck Good. up? Move forward. Uh, stop. Uh, we're on this side and the other side is... Oh, no. Yeah, maybe. <sighs> I hate to your you, right. Ken. To your right. Since they're... Fi oh my to god, right. Emmy, stop. Right, a little bit more. Right, a little bit more. <laughs> you just stop uh, and correct the forward. directions. <laughs> god damn it, Nocturne. Be careful. To cancel lock on. Keep the wait, L2 wait, button. wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a fucking minute, I gotta do this shit all over again? Ain't this about a bitch? Stop. Correct. No, do you wanna die? What the? Correct the How was that my fault? To your left. To your left. Good, move forward. Wait, was that even a question, uh, Emmy? Because I'm like, hold on, Correct what? The direction. Right, a little bit more. Good, move forward. I'm so lost. I don't know what's going on. Stop. I got Ken yelling Correct at me. Direction. To your left. Left, a little bit more. Good, move forward. Ken, I'm about to punch you square in the titty. Decoy release. Oh, that's the decoy. I thought it was Comet. Well, we're gonna die. Uh, stop. Correct the direction. Left a little bit more. Good. Move forward. Ken, swear to God. Although I'm pretty sure people are just like, V, where the Missiles fuck is this whole punch in the titty ahead. thing come from? Well, weird story. Um, back when there was a me and an amethyst, uh, we had a lot of problems to where I was talking to my DJ friend, and he'd just jokingly come up and be like, you know, if you want, I can just punch in the titty, should get like breast cancer. At the time, I'm just like, nah, man. I want to get punched in the titty. Oh. I Correct I like direction. a good titty. To your left. Left a little bit more. Yeah, it was the left oddest thing. More. Like, me had a lot of problems a that I don't talk good. about. Move forward. Yeah, it was like this whole random thing of just like, you get punched in the boob, you get boob cancer. I'm like, hmm, that's a magical punch right now. I'm not gonna go into how that would not work scientifically, but you know, it was a it was a joke. So I'm not gonna correct him with science. Right, a little bit more. 
Good. Move forward. Oh, I know some very interesting folk. That was never a question. Oh, wait a minute. Or a simple Correct thing direction. to ever not Good. know. Move forward. Encounter. Raptor destroyed. ETR reaction e, gone. Bitch. Enemy destroyed. ETR reaction gone. Destroy the Yeetus Magetus motherfucker. Ken, I don't know why, but I'm gonna find a way to blame you for this. Oh, wait a minute. Slowly correct the direction little by little. Right, a little bit more. Left a little bit more. Good. Move forward. Uh, stop. Uh But where was I with the story? The other side. Oh, no. Yeah, maybe. Correct the direction. To your left. To your left. Oh, right. So back to my DJ friend. To your left. Left a little bit more. Good. Move forward. So, that with me so hardcore Wait, that I'm just like, every Correct time there's a fictional character right. like Ken that backseats right. so hardcore that's annoying, Good. I'm Move just like, forward. if I just punch you in the boob in the right area, she'll get... Like a whole entire thing where her data gets corrupted and then she just ceases to exist from the video game. Which is weird. I told I told a person I'm talking to this joke and they were just like, that's not how that works. You know that, right? It's like, I know. I know. Be careful. To cancel but it's the same thing that a lot of my button. female friends do. They're just like, if I punch him in the dick, will they have a mute button? And that's not even like friends I know, it's just streamers I happen to stumble across who are just like talking about male characters and just like, if I punch him in the dick, will they shut up? And I'm just over here like, hmm, that's not how that works, child. We just gonna be screaming and crying. I think some of us might have brain damage after that. Kind of need those cells to kind of you know, not be dickholes. Uh, stop. Correct the direction. To your left. Right. A little bit more. Right. A little bit more. Good. Move forward. Like, when you think about it, as men and women, us as human beings, we do a lot of shit talking. We do a lot of shit talking. It is the funniest thing, but also, like, the saddest realization that we do so much shit talking. Catch these missiles, bitch! Anyway, where was I? Correct the direction to your left. Oh my god, Ken. Left a little bit more. Left a little bit more. I feel like Ken is Good. now Move Nocturne's forward. favorite character because she is trolling me so hard. Missiles approaching. Please defend. I mean, the only advice I can give is to kind of sleep on it. You can't force a narrative if there's problems. You gotta sleep on it to see if there's a better solution. She's going straight to tentacle out. <laughs> VIP access, I assume. To your left. Left a little bit more. Left a little bit more. Left a little bit more. 
Good. Move forward. And for like the people editing this for like my YouTube channel, I know you guys are gonna be looking at this footage for like the VODs. Gonna be like, man, V and Nocturne all the way with this whole Wait, back and stop. forth trolling friendship is this and right. i have to say the best kind because nocturne is probably one of the best Good. people Move on forward. this website to have in your corner because he wants the best for every single streamer that he watches but stop. he doesn't try to act like a yes man or anything right. he honestly wants to have fun Move with whoever forward. he's watching and if he trolls you or d does whatever it's a big enough thing to be like, yeah, yeah, he's he's found his comfortable spot to just be himself with everyone, and it's it's enjoyable. I I like it. Bring your ass, bitch. Damn it, Nocter. <laughs> um, Amy, the best advice I can give for anyone is the same advice someone gave me having problems with a a relationship I was uh, working on, which ironically involves a character you're going to be playing soon. Or have been play it's Enemy destroyed. It's a whole big thing right now. Enemy body disconnected. ETR reaction gone. Bring your ass, bitch. Oh, now you've made me crabby. Oh, you mother! Enemy destroyed. Obtained Metatron. Enemy body destroyed. Feel like a whole primary or hidden Lotus joke. A little bit more. I swear to God, I'm getting new editors. To your left. Left a little bit more. Right a little bit more. Good. Move forward. And that's a Naruto reference for anyone that's like, what the fuck is V talking about? Yeah, there it is. You are still alive, Dingo. I'm pleased. Long time no see, old man. I have something to ask of you. I can imagine. It's about that frame you're in, isn't it? It sure is. I am in the basement now. Proceed down here by yourself. A basement? Let me welcome you in a special way. Show me your skills. God. Oh, oh, I remember these guys. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. Or painful. I don't know which right now. We will hold battle position. Oh, can, can I finally move, Ken? Or do you want to say right a little bit more or left a little bit more now? ETR reaction gone. Ooh, ooh, I never showed y'all this. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna ignore the Metatron right now and show y'all. Oh, damn! I was gonna showcase to you guys the Vector Cannon sub-weapon. 
is honestly too dope for words. Shift to vector cannon mode. All energy lines connected. Landing gear and climbing irons locked. Inner chamber pressure rising normally. Watch this. Ready to fire. Now, I don't know if y'all are ready for this. But here's just like an example if we had like some targets. Cancel vector cannon mode. That's a game changer of a sub weapon. That shit right there is ruthless. Why don't I use it all the time? It takes a lot of setup. A lot of fucking setup. And about the flirting lines thing, Emmy, uh. Well, as much as I like to be like the whole jokey joke thing about being uh, Twitch's Cas Casanova or whatever people want to label me as, honestly, flirtation's not really my thing. I jokingly do it because it's. It's boring for people to be like, Oh, men everywhere are the simps. Why can't they just try to romance people and like the whole thing authentically? And I'm like, okay, challenge accepted, son of a bitch. Oh, finally I can... There is no sign of the enemy. Uh, I wanted to fight more, but okay, Jehuti. Um. Now where were we? Metatron. Oh yeah, I didn't show off Halberg either. God damn. Okay, so Halberg is a less powerful version of the Vector Cannon, which is all kinds of fucking weird. Um, Let's do it. Landing gear and climbing irons blocked. Inner chamber pressure rising normally. Life ring has started revolving. Ready to fire. God damn. Okay. Uh, so where are the mobs? <laughs> Vector cannon mode. Engage and fire. Don't let them surround you. Okay, uh, Ada, I was just gonna let them surround me, you know, like an idiot. The fuck you think I was gonna do? Maybe because someone wouldn't shut the fuck up about not letting them surround me, therefore letting him surround me. And now we gotta do the whole song and dance over again. Oh, and I got a level up. Dope. Anyway. 
Bruv, Jehuti is probably like my favorite mech in all of a fiction. So, what's the point of all this again aside from getting my new way to t I'm glad you asked, Nocturne. So, if you guys do not know, um, the next few months, there's going to be a lot of new games I've been looking forward to coming out. There is Psychonauts 2. I know you guys didn't get to see me do all of Psychonauts 1, so we're going to do the first game first, and then do the second one, which is going to be me trying to marathon the whole game for like three days straight. To then go into Psychonauts 2, but also this fall is when Lost Judgment is finally getting released for the states. As such, your boy is gonna go back to Kamurocho, not in Yakuza 6. Oh no, no, no. Oh, sorry, not Yakuza 6, Yakuza 7. Like a dragon. No, no, no. Your boy is going back to Kamurocho as our favorite. Former lawyer, now de of Takayuki Yagami. Where we got a brand new case. We get to go back to high school. I know, what a shock. Oh my god, V, why don't you just end this whole fight by, you know, using the vector cannon? And why don't you shut the fuck up, Kyle? Let me have some fun first. Let them have a chance to feel like... I'm not going to do some shit. Shift to vector cannon mode. All energy lines connected. Landing gear and climbing irons blocked. Inner chamber pressure rising normally. But yeah, evolving. the reason I'm trying to get through this game now, although I love this title more than anything, I also know that we have a lot to do. And I want to get through all of our backlog category first, not including like Neo The World Ends With You or anything like the Yakuza franchise we got to replay anyway from one. Not doing seven because now I have a bad taste in my mouth thanks to a dickhole that's from uh, Belgium. But one through six, not counting also the zombie apocalypse game. Mommy has destroyed. Mommy head destroyed. Enemy destroyed. So that's the main reason we're trying to get through a bunch of stuff now, like this. Probably a Plague Tale soon, where we gotta get through the story of Hugo, the boy that's so annoying that even, uh, fucking... Enemy destroyed. Enemy orbital frame destroyed. Trying to remember the joke. Um... Even a uh, child protective service is just like we don't want this child. That's how fucking annoying and bad Hugo is. No one wants him. Not even the state wants him. That was my thought process, but after I finally remembered how to get to Viola, thanks, well, not only just remembered, but had to look up some videos, because Viola's fourth fight is so bad. It is the worst. I was like, you know, now is probably the best time, even though I love this game. It's time to put it to an end. ETR reaction gone. Raptor destroyed. Enemy destroyed. Obtained Metatron. Where'd the Metatron come from? ETR reaction gone. Enemy destroyed. ETR reaction gone. 
I will break out the Vector Cannon. But unfortunately, none of y'all are worthy. It came from my enormous spiritual power. I didn't know we were in Shaman King now. Oh, snap, that reminds me. If any of y'all have not seen Shaman King on Netflix yet, you have to. It did so much love and justice to the manga. I'm like, bruh. Now one of my favorite shonen finally gets the love and attention it deserves. Even though people are complaining like, They did the manga no real love because... <laughs> I had to reread the manga before I had to look forward to the anime. And from all the stuff I've seen, it covered all the bases from where Yo and his friends had to be for the... Granted, the 13 episodes that were allowed in America right now, but followed the exact category. ETR gone. All Unless people are like, we missed the four kids dub. Which, okay, y'all can miss the four kids dub, but the anime is solid. Unless people just really want to act like they're super entitled to a property that they do not own. Wait a minute, this is anime fans, of course they do! Dingo, you managed to make it, but that was only practice. I have no time to play with an old man. Make it quick. <laughs> it's all up to you. I'm waiting at the bottom. Now where was I? Um, I know I I know people are probably watching this like, why don't you also Stay talk during cutscenes anymore, guys? Please I gotta change up my ways. Sometimes you gotta immerse yourself in the plot the same way I do, and sometimes I don't want to talk during the cutscenes, cause lore is actually important depending on what game you play. Even if you don't respect the source material or wherever it's coming from, you gotta give love to a game, as well as to the writers that honestly try to make this actually good. Because I've seen a few people kind of tune out from the streams in comparison when I used to talk and everything, where I had almost 300 followers at one point, just like... They only cared because I talked over the stuff because they felt it was boring. At least that's what statistically it's supposed to point out of like your viewership. Because analytics is now supposed to be the most important thing to an entertainer. Not how you entertain people, but the analytics is what dictates what you need to do in order to end base. Please follow the arrow. How about you please fo follow this mute button, Ada? I'm talking here. But see, that's the whole thing. Ada could be the antith antithesis of what a streamer is. Just trying to convey the information, do the whole thing, be entertaining, blah, blah, blah. Me commentating to say to Ada, shut the fuck up, is basically what the analytics keep trying to basically do whatever to kind of say you can't get this down the third thing because this down the third thing and that gets disheartening to where people don't want to stream and that's where the analytics is probably the worst thing I've ever seen as an inclusion because analytics can lie to a lot of people what people love today they won't love tomorrow and if you change to do the stuff they want tomorrow you won't get the same exact feel because you traded up who you are to kind of satiate who your real fan base is. It's a weird dichotomy that does not work. Hi, Shan. I was gonna message you ETR after the stream. Gone. Gone. Oh, Trophier and crushing victory. 
But that's like my whole entire tirade right now. The analytics that people say is god tier to what your fan base, your viewership, your whatever, whatever, that's not always going to be the case because people are the most indecisive and, let's face it, the most unreliable source of information. I could tell someone one thing right now saying, you can get gluten-free bread from Giants for the next three days as a small discount. That same information will be relayed to someone four minutes later saying, gluten-free bread at Walgreens. The other information that would come from that would be, there is allegedly some gluten-free stuff coming 7-Eleven, but the price is expensive, and it goes further on and further on because, like I stated, humanity is so goddamn dumb. You're about to lose your mind. Good thing you didn't come in at the part just for this part of the game. That's what I'm saying. Shannon had like a sixth sense of like, I know my best friend is playing something, but I'm gonna wait until the bullshit is done. But she came in at the other bullshit with me ranting about analytics, where I feel like as a marketing major, Shannon might have her own two cents to say it about and say about this. But this is just me as an outside observer. Um God damn it those fucking commands. Um when people are trying to rely on of course <laughs> Sex workers, oh my god. Don't you mean your friends? I do mean my friends, but no one really knows them by name. Henceforth, I have to call them by their profession. Much like how they like to say I was interviewed by a madman who used to have dreadlocks. And I'd be like, hmm, you know that is an accurate depiction. Or it's like if Shannon were to try and state this is my best friend who has a lion obsession and also loves hip-hop I'd be like you know those are words that describes a small portion of me Now, where was I with my tirade? Um... Oh! Analytics. <clears throat> so, my whole basis on why I don't trust analytics anymore is... Fucking damn it! Oh, thank god, I thought it was gonna be about to be the cutscene already. I was like, it's not there yet! I have time! Don't make me burst out the the vector can. I don't want to burst out the vector cannon just yet, guys. Narita destroyed. E 
ETR reaction gone. Enemy destroyed. Don't make me do this, y'all. Mummy head destroyed. Enemy destroyed. We were all confused, Shan. Oh god, my mustache was in my mouth again. Mommy head destroyed. Enemy destroyed. Narita destroyed. ETR reaction gone. Raptor destroyed. The gate to the next unit is open. Open. Please follow the arrow. Oh god. Oh, thanks for explaining, Nocturne, because I'm trying to remember our... Oh, right, the analytics stuff. So, there has been a whole bunch of stuff I've seen for just online entertainment kind of stuff where people are going to be like, this is the most trash thing ever. Analytics will then say that by viewership because of the negative press, stuff grows exponentially. Case in point, The Room. One of the most disgustingly made movies because of how abhorrent it is for story and how hilarious it is for dialogue. My big brother Casey will vouch. Now, in a world where analytics were a thing because of bad press, it should not actually be as highly received as it is financially. However, because humanity is so goddamn dumb, thanks to the whole thing of you shouldn't watch this film, and it now being in the public zeitgeist, what then happens because of idiotic intervention? It then defies the analytics to then become a cult classic because memes. Cyclops destroyed. Obtained Metatron. Another case in point for those of y'all who don't give a fuck. Um, let's say Bibsy Pop stuff. Where, has been hotel. I've gone on record in my own video. That's okay, Shan. Um... I've gone on record to say that Hasbun Hotel is probably one of the worst pilots I've seen, and I had to sugarcoat a re review for something because of me being former friends for people that put a false um, adultery accusations on my neck. Oh yeah, I knew, Sham, but I also understand. I just want to be somewhat of a distraction for you, if that helps. Um, right, but... Vivzi's whole thing for Hasbun Hotel, the pilot has a beginning and an end but no real middle, and you leave with more questions than answers about why you should watch the show. Not for good reasons, but bad reasons. Other thing though, is although me and many people have pointed this out, it's now defying the odds of what analytics should say about it being terrible to get its own contract to be an actual televised show. In essence, humanity being the for analytics to be in existence, for me, does not work. Much like how people... I've heard a lot of people say, I'm a great streamer, I should be partnered if I were to keep up the pace to be this, then a third thing. Analytics would probably agree from how I actually try to interact with a fan base, try to make sure any viewer that comes in feels welcome, blah 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 blah, but... Because I don't do the uh, trope du jour or the fancy thing du jour, I don't get that recognition the same way that um, Shot in the Dark um, Amaranth would get. Everyone's favorite ear licking ASM artist slash adult filmmaker slash model slash troll. Slash just kind of shitty person. ETR reaction gone.
Am I saying that I should be on the same level as Amaranth? Nah, man. She she earned her, her flowers and all that sort of shit. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna shame anyone's game. I'm just saying, for all the good press you can give someone, all the hype you can give other individuals, it doesn't hit that same way that analytics have proven that the negative responses prove to be a lot greater and better than the ones that, by business, that you feel like should exist. It should be the positives, and it's not. We don't live in an era anymore where good press means that you should get recognition, that you should be given actual kudos and flowers for what you do. It's about the more negatives that you create that make up business how it is today. Square has a lot of different stuff that they should be arrested for, as should Funimation, as should a lot of different businesses. Kojima especially. But because of all the negative surrounding them, for the most part, it breeds more air than being a solidified business because controversy. Not good business tactics, not being good people, just the negative press. And that's why I feel like analytics is so bullshit. And for anyone that's in marketing, whether it's Shannon or Nocturne, who has a pulse on how marketing should work since he knows business pretty well i want to hear y'all um, y'all's thoughts because this is the first time i'm actually trying to be super serious about a topic like this in the same vein that i do just being like i'm gonna do a stream maybe be a little bit wacky maybe a little bit stupid maybe throw us some stuff that may or may not be super flirtatious you never know what's gonna come out your mouth so just do what you gotta do so i just kind of want to get everyone's opinion about this because i know i'm in the minority opinion about this, but I want to get a dialogue and a discussion going, like how I try to open up stuff about the whole diversity type shit with the the acting world that I feel like is kind of asinine since it's not real change, it's just empty talking in a glass house where everyone's afraid to throw a rock anymore. Or maybe I should stop trying to give serious topics because I feel like no one really cares what a multiracial weirdo has to say. Glad to see you're still a dedicated scientist, but it's not good for your health. It's merely the result of pursuing ultimate performance. But not only me, Noman is just the same. Noman? He is even more eager than I am. Noman is not the man you used to know. Anubis is so powerful now. I need your cooperation to resist Anubis. Anubis has a definite superiority. Anubis can compress space. And by using its reactive force, it can move at sublight speed. The Urenbeck catapult. That's right. It's just the same as the Urenbeck catapults built on Deimos and Phobos. When compressed space returns to its former state, it produces an enormous reactive force. That makes it possible for Anubis to move so fast. The best technologies of Metatron combine to make Anubis almost perfect. <laughs> Don't be pessimistic. Jehuti also has the same abilities. The performance of these two bodies is even, just like twins. But to match Anubis, Jehuti lacks one thing. A program to bring out the full performance of Jehuti. If we get it, can we defeat Anubis? That depends on the skill of the runner. No problem then. Give me the program now. Just as I thought. You are trying to revolt against Norman. Revolt? No, I'll just fight. I cannot give you the program. What? If you want it, fight me first. I said I have no time to play with. No, I have another reason. I am in a different position from you. I have pledged my loyalty to Baram. I cannot betray them. You still cannot betray such an evil force. It doesn't matter now. I can't go easy on you. Neither can I. Show me your best. Thank you. 
guys, I don't know about y'all, but this might actually be Look, this is the power of one of my favorite boss fights. It won't be easy. Dingo, this is my home. You can only take it by force. Prepare yourself, Dingo. Ken, hold on tight. Eat this. Okay, sorry about that, y'all. One of my VAs had a question, because it's her first project with us, and she's nervous. Emmy could probably relate if she's still in the chat. Oh, shit! But yeah, this might actually be one of my favorite boss fights, and you guys are going to see why. Like, it's not being hard for the sake of being hard. It's honestly trying to test your metal about if you can or cannot truly fight the final boss on your own two feet with or without the whole entire um, mentality of being a perfectionist. Whether you're doing a 100% run or you're trying to be one of those gamers that tries to do a lot of stuff with a no-hit uh, scenario, which is hard to do in this game especially. You have to be on your A-game tier. This boss fight tends to make even the greatest of individuals that know how to speed run or whatever this game sweat. Because not only does uh, Inhurt have similar abilities to you, but he also kind of has a superior edge since he not only, as you heard, helped make Jehuti and Anubis as powerful as they have become, but he's kind of insane. Like, even more insane than I am. And this is just me analyzing stuff as an, as an analytic. I know, me trying to take a game seriously? Who am I and what have I done with the actual V that is all kinds of crap? If you guys are not following my buddy Mercedes Lewis, what are you doing? If you like someone that keeps it at least TVPG and has the biggest heart imaginable, y'all need to go give her a follow. Y'all need to go support her video game that's coming out soon that I'm going to be streaming. And I'm going to be gushing about, there goes Mercy, she's in a game. So make sure you give her a follow, make sure you give her a, subscri a subscription, make sure you do all the same stuff that y'all give anyone I give flowers to, because Mercy is just that great. How you doing, Mercy? For a minute there, when I was on Discord, I was just like, is, is Mercy mad at me? what I do to lose a friend? What did I do? Like, I was nervous as all hell. But I hope you and your husband and your daughter are incredible. I hope you guys are doing the best that you can in this crazy world. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. But how will you deal with this? Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh Oh, phase two time. I am scared. I am scared. I am a scared boy. I am a scared boy. I'm scared and I love it. Ooh, scared boy. Scared boy. Damn, I can't see anything, Ada. I can recognize enemy position, but I cannot visualize the target and its attack. I need a clue. Anything. All right. I will navigate the distance between you and the target and its patterns of attack as well. Only your voice can help me. Roger. Oh no. Approaching. Please defend. F mine approaches. Please evade it. F mine approaches. Please evade it. Enemy approaching. 
You see what I mean about this game actually having some of the best boss fights? If you guys have never played Zone of the Enders the second runner, whether it's the PS4 edition, the PS3 with the collection, or back on the PS2, I recommend highly playing this game. It may not be the flashiest game, it may not be the most intense game, it might just be more psychological than it is action-packed than most games people might love, but it deserves more attention. And I feel like that's what I like to do with my own platform. I like to give credit to games that don't get enough credit. Does that mean I'm gonna end up being uh, viewed as a hipster? Probably. Do I care? Not really. I love obscure games. I love obscure content. I just... I love games! Eat this. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crawl! Walked into that one, walked into that one. I'm stupid, I'm stupid. Run, 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 oh boy, run, 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 gotta defend, gotta run, gotta flash, gotta run. Why am I trying to make a song out of this? I am crazy. To the right. Oh, oh, I did not listen in time. What's wrong? Come on. Defend. Step to the right. Defend. Maybe faster on the uptake there, Ada. Step to the right. Step to the left. Defend. Step to the right. Step to the left. And Nocturne's not here to make fun of me. That is sad. Step to the right. Step to the right. Step to the left. Step to the right. Step to the left. Step to the right. Son of a bitch. I can see your movements, Dingo. Defend. Step to the right. Defend. Defend. Step to the right. It's a rhythm thing. Step to the left. Step to the right. Defend. Defend. Step to the left. Okay. The enemy resists long distance attacks. Eat this. I don't think I've ever been this nervous about trying to beat a boss fight this much. Get back here in her- oh! That was intense, and I loved every moment of it. F mine approaches. Please evade it. Missiles approaching. Please defend. Do you guys see why this is probably one of my favorite boss fights in all of gaming? It's so intense. They don't make boss fights like this anymore. I thrive on this. This is my jam. What's wrong? Come on. Defend. Like, have you guys ever seen me this happy before? Step to the right. Okay, that one was on me. I got too excited. Step to the left. Step to the right. Defend. I already see my editors just looking at this like, let me just put the R. Kelly song. Defend. Step to the right. Step to the right. Step to the left. I can see your movements, Dingo. Defend. Step 
to the left. Step to the right. Step to the left. Step to the right. Oh, don't get me started on Last Remnant. We're gonna stream that soon. Don't worry, we're gonna go into the Last Remnant. But first thing is first. What's wrong? Come on. Defend. Step to the right. Step to the left. Defend. I'm just. I give up. Distance to the enemy, nine. Defend. Step to the right. Defend. Defend. The penny Step damage the right. is so hard, though. Defend. I can see your movements, Dingo. Defend. Step to the left. The enemy resists long distance attacks. Oh. Innards! You are one of the coolest bosses I've had to fight. And I remember fighting the final boss in Ghost of Tsushima. That was a fucking trip. The enemy resists long distance attacks. Eat this. I am scared. Someone hold me. I am scared. Oh my god. Rob, child, Rob, I'm scared, homies. I'm scared. Driver for the sub weapon homing missile. Excellent, Dingo. Are you all right? You are the only one who can stop Noman. Old man, where is the program? I want to give it to you, but I cannot move by myself. I think I have suffered some injury. I'll help you. Let me get off. Hurry! Anubis is coming! Anubis? Noman is coming close. He is possessed by power. He will do anything he wants. Hurry! I'll go for it. Hurry. I'll be back soon. In a sense, Nocturne. First things first. <laughs> Send the program to Jahuti. Hurry. Yes. The password is... Next with that protection. He's here. Hurry, Ken! I know. Dingo, what I'm sending you is no ordinary device. It takes some time until it settles into the system. You can't use it right away. How long will it take? If Anubis comes, escape. You cannot defeat him yet. It's unlocked. Dingo, here goes! I got it! Get back here now! Project Almond's purpose is not domination. What? Destruction. Ken! We obtained the program Zero Shift. He's coming! Dingo, you are ready to die again, aren't you? No, man. Now death means nothing. The man who died revives, and Anubis kills thousands of people with just one shot. See, Dingo? The strong do survive. And after millions of years of evolution, human beings receive the natural order. Are you the jerk who filled Mars full of holes? Me? 
<laughs> I am just a pawn. All is up to Metatron's will. Nonsense! I didn't expect Lloyd to betray me. Dingo, I'll tell you an interesting story. You know what happened to the Metatron you carried to Antilia on your last mission? Who knows? That frame. What? Anubis and Jehudi. These two frames were made from the Metatron you had escorted. What did you say? Be glad. You are one of the units for Project Aumon. So this is that Metatron? <laughs> I must thank you, Dingo. My pals all died for that? This will be a good battle for celebration. Come on, get me! Dingo, no! Oh my god, we are not ready. We are not ready, Dingo. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need it, cause we're not ready. At all. Zero shift is not enabled yet. We are screwed. Narratively, we are screwed. Technically, I could whoop Anubis's ass, which is funny, because a lot of people say I would probably have worshipped Anubis if I, if I was an Egyptian priest or some shit. But I digress. This is just narratively impossible to win, because this is another forced loss fight. See? strong run away dingo old man there you are get away Wait, where is Ken? Dingo, can you hear me? Ken, are you all right? Yeah, I'm in the rubble though. I'll go back there now. No, you won't. Anubis is still here. Damn it! Listen, please, be sure to stop Almond. You must, even if I don't make it. But... We're pals now, aren't we? That's right, isn't it? Yes. Your comrades who were killed on Callisto surely thought the same thing. I can't move anymore, but I know my body will attain my desire. Survivors have the duty to do no less. Please, stop Noman. Stop Oman. You must. Okay. I will. Ken? Ken! She should be alright. I hope so. Ken? Dingo! 
Leo. The rest of the left in Vasilia are gathering at the canyon. All of the units will come together there soon. The canyon? It's at the entrance to the underground fortress, Almon. I see. I'll go there. Enemy ahead. I hope Ken is okay. I'd be devastated if she actually did die. Enemy fleet, five in total. They're trying to attack the Levs on the ground. Jehuti. Well, this is an unexpected quarry. You're the quarry, you jerk. Well, well. How can just one orbital frame match our armada? All ships, prepare to attack. Leo, I've got a problem. I have to stop the Armada. They're heading your way. What? Then I'll go too. You protect the Levs. I'll catch up to you soon. Okay, but please be careful. Ada! To defeat the target warships, you need to destroy their engines. The engines are, just like the outer wall of Alman, protected by compressed space. I recognize dislocations in the mass. You cannot destroy them without the Vector Cannon. Roger. You must set your feet on the ground to shoot the Vector Cannon. Please be careful. I see. Ada, let's get them, quickly. Roger. Oh, shit. Wait, can someone do an uptime for me real quick? Because I forgot how long we've been live. I've been so happy I just being levels. here that I the forgot everything. Has great power. Oh, just Roger. an hour and a half. Just okay. Can see the engine of the ship at its rear. The anti-aircraft cannons are falling silent. Now is the chance to charge it. No, it is not, Ada. I detect high energy levels. Now we can get it done. Woo! Who's ready for it to go burn? So, after doing all these streams, at least for Nocturne, since I see him in the chat, how do you feel about Zone of the Enders, the second runner? Approaching. I suggest using homing missile. Raptor destroyed. The battleship has anti-aircraft lasers. Oh, it's extremely fun. Although there are a few things I hate, like the escort mission and Viola's fourth boss fight. This is fun, it's just, it's riddled with the same stuff people wouldn't necessarily call fun, for obvious reasons. Just like the whole, oh, well you can't really try to make it fun if it's... Anti are silent. Now is the chance to charge it. Damage level exceeding fifty percent. Enemy fleet five in total. I'm well aware, Ada. I'll be on the cloud, 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 cloud. Engaging Vector Cannon Mode. All energy lines connected. Landing gear and climbing irons locked. Shift now, re-engaging Vector Cannon Mode. Landing gear and climbing irons locked. Chamber 
The battleship has anti-aircraft lasers. The battleship is sinking. Three more. Fresh battleships are coming close. Don't get caught in the crossfire. Enemy reinforcements arriving. Oh, they can reinforce reinforce themselves all they want to, baby. Mummy head destroyed. Enemy destroyed. Your boy is ready to smack down. Yeah, I be on the clown clown and clown clown. Oh. And they want you to kill all of these but what kind of organization I I used to apparently work for Barum, a villain from the first a villain organization from the first game, but now we're just former um miners from Jupiter that retired from military service just trying to be a protagonist. It's like we used to have military background, but now we just in this bitch. Like that's the funny thing, like in the first game it's like, oh, young plucky teenage boy protagonist wants to save Mars. This one, a guy who used to be on the bad guys, who is an ex mech pilot, is dragged back in to clean up his own mistakes of the past and defeat his former friend and employer. The battleship has anti-aircraft lasers. The battleship is sinking. Two more. ETR reaction gone. That is an interesting narrative for this game of people that know what they've caused and they're openly trying to correct the mistakes of the past rather than running from it. And as such, growing more because not only are they seeing the error of what their own actions have caused, as well as seeing the pain that has rotten because of what they've done, but it also gives a nice levity factor of not all heroes come from morally high backgrounds. Dingo is so complex and so interesting of a character that it still astonishes me that this game isn't widely talked about. And it bothers me. Like, not a lot of now do this whole narrative of just, like, the hero doesn't have to be morally high standard to be relatable. He has to be so paragon featured that he can't have any faults to him. Or he just has to have a troubled backstory that makes you feel super sympathetic because of it all. But not a lot of, of games or subject matter I've seen as of late does this whole narrative of they've caused the problem, they're realizing what they have done is the problem, and therefore he's trying to set it right in his own factor, whether or not it is what he wants or he slash she wants or not. Because I know that there are women characters that could follow this depiction as well. I'm not going to be sexist. ETR reaction gone. Enemy reinforcements arriving. But I thrive on games like this, guys. I truly do. Nothing is ever black and white because that's life. Nothing is ever just the whole he said, she said argument because nothing is truly just he said, she said. Agreed. Agreed. A lot more simpler than 4. And also arguably probably a lot better because 4 is kind of a train wreck. Damage level exceeding 75%. ETR reaction gone. Enemy destroyed. Reinforcements 
destroyed. Oh, fuck. No. I gotta do this all over again. I'm okay with this, though. The main cannon of the battleship has great destructive power. Watch out for the battleship's main cannon. I can see the engine of the ship. Yeah, that's, that's basically it. It's like we have a nice Star Wars kind of epic where it's brother and brother having issues rather than father and son and uh, wizard. Uh, I'm sorry? Yeah, wizard. I detect high energy levels. Did your motherfucker say a wi- Yeah, wizard. Got this whole... Star Wars esque epic going on, you gonna say, yep, wizard. Also, friendship, because, uh, shut up. I paid money for this game, and we're happy. Um, wizard. And, uh, power of friendship. And then this game, it's like, yep, we, uh, we're not doing the whole friendship route. He's gonna face his past. And the battleship is sinking. Earnest way. Like a man. And or adult. The battleship has anti aircraft lasers. Cause no one in this game is truly good or bad. Except for Leo, but that's cause Leo kinda is a bitch. I'm sorry, the first game just is like it doesn't paint Leo as the best protagonist for me. It's just stock boy shonen protagonist. Meanwhile we have Dingo who's very complex and interesting and has a lot of great things going for him. Is the gameplay better in the first game? Not really. You can skip the first game and just kind of dive into this one by just reading the wiki for the first game. The then jump into this and be like, oh, so that's the background the for why Leo fought. Then you gotta get this game, it kind of sows the seeds for why the first game kind of happened the way it did. As well as to, as you've seen, the origins behind the orbital frame slash the mecha of Jehuti. Like, this game is one of the great examples of a sequel surpassing the original four ways than one. And no one will argue those facts. The only problem is, we're never gonna get a third game that's gonna explore more of this world. Because nobody, and this is facts, no one bought the PS3 version of the collection for Zone of the Enders. And they were planning a third game to be either on the PS4 or the PS5. But because sales didn't match up, we will never get a full-blown story conclusion for what this universe was building. We are never getting a Zone of the Enders 3 according to sources. And I am upset about this every day. Because we get so many games that get sequels every single decade, if not every single year. Game Freak makes the goddamn copy and paste capture monster system without any real innovation, and people go crazy. But great games with solid story like this get swept under the rug because of poor sales. Hell, I wish there was a sequel to The Last Remnant the more I think about it, because it has great marketing potential, great story elements, an incredible cast of characters, an interesting universe, a nice thing of a whole army system that could do a lot more justice than certain Fire Emblem games. But we're never gonna get that sequel! Cause sales didn't match up. Can you tell I'm upset? Mommy head destroyed. Raptor destroyed. ETR reaction gone. Is anyone gonna correct me for being upset? If y'all ever played uh, The Last Remnant and saw why it's so good, then I don't think anyone would probably judge me. Raptor destroyed. Yeah! 
Because Square is kind of stupid. You got a brand new IP in your long existing franchise. What are you gonna do? Delay it all to focus on a remake of a game that already has I don't know how many sequels and prequels and a movie. Oh wait, I also kinda streamed it once, but no one seemed interested. I'm supposed to be uh, doing that and um, Octopath Traveler soon. Like, not soon soon, but like next year soon. It was probably before. I don't know, I own a lot of games now. Destroyed. ETR reaction gone. The These shouldn't you be focusing the on the game instead of talking to your audience? Fuck you! Strange. Yeah, that remastered is chef's kiss. Is it hard as hell? Yes! It's super fucking hard and unforgiving. Do you lose any of your un units? Not really, it's not one of those army games. But, it's worth. It's so worth. You have to be dumb if you hate a good challenge. And but it's so hard because it's a JRPG strategy thing with an army concept. And you no 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 no. Okay, what do you think of Fire Emblem Three Houses? Oh, it's so great with the army mechanics and the JRPG element. Can it's because you have a waifu, isn't it? Uh, it's, yeah, it's because I have a waifu. And or husband though. I'm gonna be the advocate for unappreciated games. I am the Lorax, I speak for the games. The anti -aircraft cannons I will then the demolish side. all of your stupid claims. Look, Ada, I know we're kind of getting curb stomped. I know, but fuck you. That's my whole answer to your argument. Just, just shut the fuck up. Shift to vector cannon mode. All energy lines connected. Landing gear oh, I know the gambit stopped. system was the shit. Energy Don't get me wrong. But still, all of it being Enemy just destroyed. as it is, it had is nothing compared to the hard destroyed. difficulty of the, the last remnant. You didn't have the whole uh, Iron Man run scenario. I mean, you could implement it just like you lost said unit in this fight. So you gotta just, you know, trade out this unit, not really use them, because Iron Man run. Damage level exceeding 50%. Destroyed. Enemy destroyed. Mummy head destroyed. Ooh, I got a level up. My level go way up. It's money, but it's pay up. The anti aircraft cannons are falling silent. Now is the chance to charge it. Yeah, that is candy mode in comparison. I want a Fire Emblem Pro to literally sit down and play The Last Remnant without trying to pull that whole bullshit about. Oh, it's nothing like Fire Emblem because you can clearly see how to maneuver all this sort of stuff by using this unit. Arriving. Bitch, no you can't. I've been playing Fire Emblem for years. And even I will admit, Last Remnant is way less forgiving. Reaction 
Vector Cannon. Oh, god damn it, Jehuti. Shift to Vector Cannon mode. I'm sorry, Vector Cannon mode is like my favorite mode to look at aesthetically. Ah, I killed an entire armada. It only took me two tries. A target warship has emerged. That's no warship. That's an orbital frame. Jehuti, feel the power of Zakat that scorched Mars. You're gonna pay for that now. <laughs> Don't underestimate us. Our enemy is Jehuti. Do your best to show him the power of the great Zakat. Get out of my way. Find another way. Secure the main pass. Fire. Damn it, I was responding to Shannon game. Yeah, I gotta kill that giant orbital frame. I gotta kill that giant orbital fucking frame. I get to fight kaiju size monster uh, monster mechas. This is my life now as this. It's like, what kind of streams am I gonna walk into? A giant robot fight. But one is a fucking kaiju sized mecha. Give me a sec, because one of my fucking VAs wants to ask me this question at the worst time. Oh lord, it's hard being a director. Um, get this off. Okay, now that I've answered that, I'm gonna be right back, y'all. I, I need to, like, prepare myself mentally before I hop back into this. Cause your boy is all kinds of woe. Be right back.
Okay, who's ready to watch me bite this giant fucking monster? Ooh. Tasty and milky. Don't let him go! Sorry, I was also hungry as hell. Okay, here's the whole thing with a Sakat. Sakat is a fucking fortress. But it constantly wants to do a whole distance thing with its lasers and some other stuff that's gonna happen in a couple of minutes if you either A, piss it off a lot, or just sort of a... damage it even slightly. Like, it's all a matter of a... Literally all a matter of a... How do I put this? Um... Secure the main pass. Fire! <laughs> Ada, I know. Okay, I know. Just, this is Fire. Damn you. This is all kinds of stressful basically Secure unless you're pass. super prepared Damn you. It's going to be super fucking stressful Fire. Secure the main pass. Fire! Damn you! Shield damage! Secure the main pass. Fire! See, this is the power of the cut. Yeah, see what I mean, guys, about how this boss fight is a little bit weirder than most? Like, it has strategy where you have to think on the fly, like how this game's supposed to be played, unlike the f fourth fucking Viola fight, but it also is very taxing in just how terrifying it is. Because if you fuck up even a little bit, like what I'm doing right now to kind of demonstrate, not really focus, focus. Because again, I was already at a disadvantage when I let myself not focus the first time when I got shot at. Secure the main pass. Fire. <laughs> How's this? Decoy release. Fire. Woo! Decoy release. Damn you. Fuck yo, Mac. Decoy release. Secure the main pass. Fire. Damn you. You suck. Can't hide me on the clown cloud. Clown cloud. No. Secure the main pass. Fire! Damn you! You hide me on the clown, clown, Fire! clown, clown. You hide me on the clown, the clown, clown. I can't get that fucking black link out of my head fire. like that fucking Damn chorus you. is so goddamn pretty. Well, it's not even a chorus, Long it's just the. Oh, yeah, formation two is, uh. Go. 
Yeah, if you guys thought Formation 1 was gonna be hard, uh, just take a look at all this. This is the appetizer, by the way. Formation 2 looks a lot easier in design, and it can be if you time it all correctly and properly. Problem is A, long range combat is kind of a no go. So, unless you kind of rush in to do all this, you're a little bit fucked, unless you're very good. Damn, this must finish. All hands, take shelter! Okay, Ada, let's hurry. Thanks for the good luck, by the way, Nocturne. I needed it. Because phase one is the hardest part. Ken, what are you doing here? Let's go. It's time to activate Alman. I can see Jody. Great 40. I'm not your enemy. Can I talk to Leo? No one here by that name! That's enough talk! Are you Taper? This guy is our enemy! Don't trust him! You dirty rotten! I thought it was strange. Hardly any orbital frames were left in the Space Force! Listen! Just shut up! To runner aboard Jahuti. Atlantis, one of the Space Force fleet. We are on a mission to guard Phobos. I am Subcommander Elena Weinberg. I'm taking command of the Levs there. Elena? That frame Jahuti belongs to the Space Force. Surrender it immediately! I've been carrying out your orders, haven't I? Our orders? Ken Marineris, who's been hiding within Barom. Ken Marineris? We have no such person registered with our forces. What? No one by that name is known to us. Really? I demand you return Jehuti now. Please wait, Elena. Leo, you... Elena, this man is on our side. What have you been doing? I already made up my mind to reject your orders. Nothing good will come of them. Leo, who is the man on board Jehuti? It doesn't matter. He's our comrade, with the same purpose. Hey, you, Elena. Even if thousands of Levs come together, you cannot stop Baram. I know that. Then what do you propose to do? Withdraw your order. This is not an order. Huh? We lost our comrades. Some have lost their entire families. They are willing to remain. You are going to die. If so, that is our duty. The duty of us survivors. <laughs> sure, okay, I understand. What's so funny? Leave Jahuti now! No, not even if I'm dead. All units, aim at Jahuti! Elena! You're not serious about trying to beat Jahuti with those poor Levs, are you? Silence! Sure, I was in Baram. Some of my pals were killed by you guys. 
But now I'm here to stop Almon. I don't like you, but I believe we all have the same reasons for fighting. But if you still want to shoot me, do it. These guys seem a lot smarter than you. Elena? I see. I will follow them. Yes! If you want to survive, leave your command to me. The underground fortress, Almon, is straight ahead, at the bottom of the crevice. All units go straight ahead. After arriving at the crevice, go down individually. Then stand by at the lower floor and prepare to meet at point zero. Dingo, the enemy is near. It's only you and I who care about the others. We'll guide them to the crevice, as many as we can. I got you. No one's gonna kill any more of my comrades. Ada! I'll monitor the Allies' situation and indicate them in wide radar. Blue means Jehuti. Sky blue is Leo. And green is Alev from the Space Force. I'll also indicate the enemy as red pointers. I got that. Don't forget their SOS. Roger. If I catch an SOS, I will indicate the area with a red line. Dingo, I... Taper, don't go away anymore. Oh, okay. Enemy approaching. They're coming. Okay, that was a lot of plot, a lot of story, and a lot of- Oh my god! I suggest using Well, if you get the fuck out of my way. I'm not trying to attack you, stupid. Can you guys let me just, Dingo, you know, please, you fight the goddamn- Stop getting in the way of my sword! Oh boy! I'm trying, Leo. I'm also uber stressed. Oh guys, I'm trying to get everyone's support, but no one's gonna. Leave me the fuck alone right now. We need your support. Help us. Quickly. Bingo. You guys are on the damage you have. Help us over. Hurry. I need your support. Hurry. Please. Hurry. Still waiting for your support. Hurry. Now, there is a way to do this. I want to share the secret behind how to do this. Problem is, I don't want to do this. I can't keep standing. Damn it. I've got more damage. I can't keep the body up. Damn. Hurry! 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 Come quickly! Too many enemies 
Guys, I'm trying to support all I fucking can right now. Do you not see me just trying to mow through enemies with my own deteriorating health bar? Trying to save y'all from your own goddamn self. There's too many! I can't keep saving everyone. It's so agitating. I'm agitated. I'm aggravated. Your boy is mad. Yo, fuck it. No more saving people. Why don't you pitch the fuck in? We be much more efficient if we help each other. We be much more efficient if we help each other. We be much more efficient if we help each other. I hate y'all motherfuckers. I hate y'all shit. I hate y'all bitches and I hate y'all hoes. We would be so much more efficient if we helped each other. We'd be so much more efficient if we helped each other. We'd be so much more efficient if we helped each other. I'm disabled. I'm gonna die. Damn, help me. Dingo, please use guys on the damage club. Damn it. I've got serious damage. What are you doing? dying. Oh no, you're dying? What game? That you said that your mech is down. How many are there? I need your support. I need your support. What are you doing? What the fuck do you think I'm doing, bitch? Someone, someone around here. I need hurry support. They're gonna get me. Come here, hurry. Oh my god. I can't 
I could have done this all by myself. Vector cannon, no flex. Hurry, 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 hurry. Is there any more? Survival rate of lab unit is over 80%. But some died. I can't be proud of that. Under the circumstances, you achieved excellent figures. But I couldn't save all their lives. <sighs> Again, there is a way to make sure all of them are saved. Do it all perfectly. I just don't want to do it. Oh, I'm very happy. I just know I'm not going to do that whole get an s rig thing. Anyway. Every surviving lev has landed on the crevice. Okay, we're heading there now. What's happening? going on something strange the program has been settled we have obtained zero shift at last just in time now you can move to a locked on target in an instant i've added another icon to the sub weapon window now everything is ready dingo anything wrong your girlfriend took her time to redo her makeup where are the levs they're standing by on the lower floor we must secure a breakthrough to almond I'll guide them. You take care of any pursuers. I see. Ada, be careful. You too. Don't do anything rash. That's it. That was a cargo route during construction. Descend along it and you will arrive at the outer wall of Alman. Defense is strong. This is gonna be a good warm up. Let's go, Ada. Roger. This is going to be weird because I, I haven't done this in a long zero time. Zero. Trophy earn. Put her makeup on. With Jeopardy's current status and your skills, you will win easily. Holy damn! Oh, you right. You right. I should probably save. Enemy reinforcements are confirmed. Choose either long distance or close range attacks as you wish. Enemy destroyed. Oh, honey. Mommy head destroyed. Raptor destroyed. We doing all that and then some. ETR reaction gone. Obtained Metatron. Mummy head destroyed. Oh my god. A little bit. You're gonna change it for your for your new boo thing of a uh, motherfucking Ken who is kidnapped right now. ETR reaction gone. Reaction gone. Cyclops destroyed. Okay, so advance Jehuti is weird to get used to. It is a weird beast. Like, yeah, our defenses are a lot better. Yeah, we hit harder and faster and have an even better sub-weapon than before. Holy damn!
ETR reaction gone. It's like it's a Super Saiyajin move. I'm sorry, Ada. I wasn't listening. I was too busy kicking ass. What were you saying? <laughs> Good fucking god. Oh yeah, I got kicked the fuck out of a Discord today for whatever. I think it's because I'm inactive. I don't know. Dingo. Ken! I'm in the underground fortress. Noman is here as well. How did you- Listen, Almon is starting up now, but Dingo, don't come here. I'm already very close. Dingo, I lied. I'm not a spy from the Space Force, truly. I'm just a Balrom runner. So it seems. Aren't you surprised? I told you. Spies cannot survive under Noman. But why did you lie? I didn't expect you would trust me. You wouldn't believe that I was just a soldier trying to revolt. Right, it's totally crazy. My father was also a soldier, of Balrom. He was in your unit. What? They said my father died on duty at Callisto. I wanted to know why, and for what my father had died. So I joined Ba-Ram and approached Noman. My father had died for the Almon project. I realized that, but I couldn't do anything. I'm not like you. I'm not as popular. When the Almon project came to a climax, when I found Jehudi in Callisto, you appeared. And then I realized must stop Almon for my father too. Richard Marineris. That's right. He was good to me. But now it's over. Please forget about it. Don't come here. Noman is too dangerous. You said I have my duty. What? Keep believing in that. No! I've been dead once already. I'll bring it to an end myself. You're very reliable, Dingo. Noman. Come here now. I can't wait to kill you. Sorry about that, but now I need a companion to die with. The more companions, the better. I can help you there. Regrettably, I've already decided on taking one person. I'm glad, Dingo. I'm so glad. Target confirmed. Start attack. How about a quick wipeout? Oh, sorry, sorry. That whole thing of the story always gets me. Because you never expect it to be that Dingo has a lot more in common Ken than anyone would ever expect. But when you get the subtle hints that maybe there's more to it, it's very fascinating. Where it's like, Ken's doing this because her dad was also involved in all of this. And he was not only just involved, he was in Dingo's unit. Hence why this is so personal and deep to where you're just like, Jesus. Damage level exceeding 
I'm getting reckless. I need to stop being so reckless. Need to be on the defensive. Because I can't fight Nolan if I'm at low health. God knows I've tried once. Also, welcome back, Emmy. I'm not ignoring you. I'm just trying to focus on these fights. They're a lot to focus on. And the story is... Wow. Ah, I got to it before Nocturne did. That's surprising. Enemy destroyed. ETR reaction gone. Enemy destroyed. ETR reaction gone. Enemy destroyed. ETR reaction gone. Enemy destroyed. Narita destroyed. Enemy destroyed. ETR reaction gone. Jesus, bitch. ETR reaction gone. Enemy destroyed. ETR reaction gone. Enemy destroyed. Damage level exceeding 75%. ETR reaction gone. I need to get Enemy some Metatron destroyed. or something. Because this is dangerous, even for me. ETR reaction gone. Enemy destroyed. Obtain Metatron. Uh, there we- I've spoken into existence, y'all! ETR reaction gone. ETR reaction gone. Enemy destroyed. What now, phone? Also, Emmy, if you're here, could you do an uptime for me, please? I need to know how long I've been, uh, I've been at this whole shebang-a-boop. Oh, thanks, Nocter. They're almost three out, yo! I'm invested in this. Okay, I saved. Okay. This might be... This might be it, guys. This might be it. After this, we may never play this game ever. Oh, shit! Yeah, that hits like a tank. Forgot about that. Cause that, my friends, is a rail gun. That shit hurt.
Yeah, I don't know, Nocturne. It's weird. But uh, let's see. Uh, I'm kind of playing the synth in the background. Just... Oh. I keep forgetting that people are fans of The Sims. Anyway. go first. Let me. Dingo, please be careful. This gate is sealed with compressed space. You cannot break through unless you use the vector cannon. Okay. Now Jehuti and Anubis are exactly even. Then it depends on the runners. Ada, what do you think? It is hopeless, but you have no other choice. I see. Let's take it easy, Ada. Nocturne, I swear to God. Okay, you and your puns. As well as your ace tier trolling. Shift to vector cannon mode. All energy lines connected. Landing gear and climbing irons locked. Shift to vector cannon mode. All energy lines connected. Landing gear and climbing irons locked. Inner chamber pressure rising normally. Hold on. How am I supposed to do this exactly? I'm trying to figure this out. So do I stand exactly in... I've done this before, but again, it's been a long time since I've gotten this far. Shift like the final climbing. fight and everything. All energy lines connected. Landing gear and climbing irons locked. Inner chamber pressure rising normally. Yo, know screw it. Ring has started revolving. Ready to fire. Huh. I never really used okay, the advanced version of the vector cannon in combat, did I? Anyway. Gonna save! Well, guys, this is it. What a vast place. This occupies about 50% of Basilian territory. But it doesn't look like a fortress. It's some control facility. Metatron reactions are minute. A control facility? Then this isn't Almon? You've come, Dingo! What's wrong? Is facing up to Anubis too tough for you? Sorry, I was just trembling with excitement. <laughs> well, let's get started. Come on, Dingo. I suggest using Zero Shift. Are you afraid of me?
strong, Dingo. That's odd. Anubis! Leo, wait! Anubis! in the frame? <laughs> Don't get angry, Dingo. This is just a form of entertainment. You devil. As I thought, the fake is a fake. It's so poor that it's no match for the real one. Damn you! You guys ready for this? The real Almon is Phobos. They're aiming here and that catapult on Phobos at Mars. Noman, are you trying to destroy Vasilia? <laughs> so what? But first, I will begin by destroying all of Mars. Human 
beings have realized various forms of energy. Civilizations have progressed with them. So where does such energy like Metatron lead our civilization? Destruction! Destruction to end all! The universe and human subconscious are willing their own end! Stop! Take this, Jingo! Look, this is the will of Metatron! Can you stop me, Jingo? to several spots on Jehuti and the vector trap in the rear due to the previous attack. Can we move? Connection check. Available specs. Dash. Burst. Blade. Grab. Zero shift. That's all. Well, more than enough to take him out. So, yeah, guys. Phase one leads to this. Going to obviously save because phase one is atrocious. Um, yeah. So the main weapon that we're supposed to stop is an entire moon. Phobos. The person we fought for phase one was a fake Anubis, which was piloted by Ken, which is now one of Nocturne's girlfriends. And now phase two is in an interdimensional space tunnel from Mars to Phobos, which is going to use its energy of Almon, an extremely powerful weapon on said moon, to destroy Mars. I love this Game. I suggest using zero shift. Good one. Damage level exceeding seventy five per cent. This is also why we save. Come on, Dingo. Yeah, come on and please get shot down real quick so I can have full health I again. the rules Here I am Oh yeah and this version of Jehuti is an actual skin in the game it's called Naked Jehuti This is what you use for a merciless run when you really just want to take a true challenge to yourself not only because this final fight means you yourself cannot use long-range attacks, but you can't use anything else except your brand new power and the first power you get when you start the game. Oh, and also only your sword because thematics.
You're here. Now you're there. You're here. Now you're there. Good one. Come on, Dingo. Damage level exceeding 75%. How's this? Yeah, we're not going to be able to beat Noman first time cuz I got to get the pattern down in my head, which is hard. So I'm going to accept the L. I know it's not really the best idea, but you learn more from defeat than you do from victory. Good one. Come on, Dingo. Okay, got it. Focus, gotta focus. Again, if I stop reading chat, you guys know what command to do. So you guys understand I'm not ignoring you. I just really wanna... I gotta stop rushing in head first and just wait. Oh, fuck. I just really want to beat Noman, but I'm thinking. Just, just shoot me. Just shoot me, stab me, whatever. Okay, gotta be patient. Gotta be... I don't even know what the fuck just happened. unfair that Noman still gets to use his energy attacks? Of course it is! Because Noman is kind of a whore! Does that make it any less challenging? No! Because even if I did have my ability to shoot lasers, y'all saw how bad phase one was. I'm not going to get this right the first time. It's like, you guys remember the transistor playthrough? Okay. Okay. 
I'm doing this when I get back to chat. I want to hear from you guys. How did we all feel about this game? Because it technically took us only four stream sessions to do this entire game. Four sessions. Because I know I love this game. This game has a special place in my heart because it's one of the top 100 favorite video games I've had over my lifetime. That is a hard list to have, and a hard list to maintain because with all the games that come in and out of one's life, it gets harder and harder to make sure that you know what you enjoy. But I know how much I love this game, faults and all. It's why I don't mind making fun of it. It's why- oh god, the lasers. Oh god, the lasers. Could you stop with the lasers, please? I'm just a boy. I mean, I'm a man, but... Boys are men, too. Wait a minute. Oh god. Repeat a hit and run attack. I suggest using zero ship. Ada, I'm with you. I am. But I'm also panicking. Could you stop talking? When I panic, I don't really do well with people talking to me. So I have a focus mode now. Good one. Fuck you and your laser. But, uh, I know Emmy's doing her whole thing, and Nocturne, you haven't been here for all of the sessions, I think? I think you only missed one. But from all the stuff that you have seen that we've done, and what's probably gonna be the main, uh, VOD that, uh, my editor and I are gonna be working on, which we're gonna be doing a live stream for soon, so haha, <laughs> check it out. Um, I don't know, what do you guys honestly think with Zone of the Enders after I've showcased this game because it's not widely talked about no one really has a hankering to do it or cover it or really do much with it I was hesitant to get this copy because my PS3 is still stolen but my PS3 CD still exists somewhere in Virginia Muda, 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 muda! Muda! Tesote, sote! Wait, why am I randomly speaking Japanese words? What is wrong with me? Oh, right! I'm panicking! And I sometimes just randomly spew out other words from other languages. Morto bastardo. Fuck you and your laces, bitch! I will admit, this isn't a game for everyone. If you don't like giant robot based combat or space operas, or basically a bunch of stuff with story, it's not going to be the game for you. It's not going to be for a lot of uh, Gen Zers or certain Millennials, which I can say because I am a Millennial. We are kind of trash. Bring it on, Noman. That was my bad. That was my bad. Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. But at least I've proven I can get him to have health. Beautiful. Beautiful. I 
Oh boy. Oh god. Okay. Getting a little bit pissy. Getting a little bit crabby. Still loving this. No, uh, no man, you still a bitch though. Come on, Dingo. Here I am. Uh, while we're uh doing this, and since I love to keep talking to you guys, because communication is key as an entertainer. I don't care what people say. You can play a game and talk to your audience slash your fan base slash your friends. Um, things I would change if they ever do make a uh, Zone of the Enders 3. Um, the whole grading system when it comes to human lives element that they've done for uh, two segments of the game, not a huge fan of. Because, one, casualties of war will constantly happen, as shown in many different uh, strategy RPGs over the years and so forth and so on. They kind of grade it to make sure you feel bad you couldn't save like uh, six or seven lives. is a little bit um, degrading and makes it feel like you're not confident enough in your skill set where you kind of just feel like you're trash. That's not what you're supposed to feel like when you play a game. And I get it, it sucks to lose units. I've played my fair share of strategy RPGs and strategy JRPGs that make you feel that sentiment. But they don't try to make it drag on of looking for in your requirement. That's not fun. Also, the, uh... Well, this is just a thing for me with a lot of games with escort missions. Stop with escort missions. They... They are not fun. Oh, right, and you can't really block in this fight, I forgot about that, because you don't have the Metatron or the casing units to defend yourselves from incoming laser fire. So you have to bob and weave. It's a nice way to kind of amp up the tension, I'm not gonna lie. But it's also kind of nerve-wracking, because there are lasers coming at you! Here I am. This dumb fuck nugget. Thinker from the Suicide Squad looking ass. Yo, if I could do this at this low amount of health, on, I'm a god. Can I do it? Nah, fam. My skill set's not that great anymore. But I got him at red! I got him at red! Okay, this might be possible, this might be possible, this might be possible, this might be possible, this might be possible! Oh my god, this might actually be fucking possible! Your boy might do it, your boy might do it, your boy might do it, your boy might do it! How about this? No man, you pussy! And, uh, fun fact for y'all that you pro Um, 
I died inside, okay? I died inside. It's fine. It is more than fine. We were so close. I could taste victory. Come on, Dingo. Also, I lost chat for a split second cuz one of my screens died. So, your boy ain't dead happy. Your boy ain't dead happy. Ah, there we go. Thank God. Okay, got one of the screens. We good. We good, I think. I know, Ada, I know! Damage level exceeding 75%. You know what, Ada? I get it, okay? I get it. The lasers, they suck. I know! Repeat a hit and run attack. I suggest using zero ship. You already have another freak out moment, Ada? Then keep fucking talking! When V's having a meltdown, let me just have a fucking meltdown. My god! Stupid fucking after image bullshit ass. Good one. Crackhead looking motherfucker in his goddamn dog breath machine. I'm gonna shove this broken blade so far through your goddamn esophagus, gonna end up coughing up nothing more than your own bile and I don't know you. You sweat? I don't fucking know. Sweat? On, Tears? Dingo. Blood? Hopes? Dreams, that shit that you use to make yourself look nice enough on Tinder and Grindr, because we all know that you can't, because you're a goddamn narcissistic sociopath that has his own weird fucking fetish shit. Here I am. Hey, gay, go fuck yourself, Noman. Fuck you and your lasers! Your cheating ass lasers! I'm here. Blood. Come on, Dingo! Here I am. Also, for those of y'all that keep uh, keep watching, uh, keep attention in these streams, you might notice that this space tunnel is what we see when we start up the game. That's because it's a... Uh, to give you guys the appeal about what's to come in the coming parts of the game. I don't like the lasers, okay? The lasers make this game even harder. When you're in the final boss and you can't use your own. Repeat a hit and 
I just died a little inside, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. I feel the eyes on me just like they hope I feel like people hope I win even everyone is probably just like oh my god does he win and then knowing one of my editors is gonna be like the Eric Andre meme where it's like I get shot up a bunch of times it goes like the we'll be right back bullshit cuz I know all of my editors all of them are bitches I should know I'm one of my three editors. So future me, if you're the one editing this segment, you're a bitch. Here I am. Good. And somewhere out there, Nocturne and Emmy are watching this, just watching me lose my fucking mind, just like... So, is V having a panic attack? You all know I'm having one giant ass panic attack. Your boy is not dealing with this boss fight well. He's stressing. He feel like he gonna keep dying. And over and over again. And we'll never get this game beaten. And I'm gonna be stuck reliving the same final boss. Again. And 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 again. Catch these fucking hands, Noman. You dog brain fuck boy. Oh my god, we do hate dogs. No, I love dogs. In fact, Wally is one of my favorite anim one of my favorite dogs because he's such a good boy. But in the presence of this bitch, Come on, Dingo. I hate jackals. Get your bitch ass Come over here, bitch. Not so funny with yourself, is it, mother? Here I am. Yeah, I'll be on grind and ground, grind and ground. I'm here. I wanna pop up. Woo! In the red, in the red, in the red. Can we do this? Can we do this? Can we do this? Emmy, Nocturne, anyone that's lurking, I need y'all to tell me. Y'all think I got this? Do I have this? Do I have this in the bag? Do I have the bag secure? Does your boy got the bag? Like, I may not be able to see y'all see y'all right now because I'm in mad focus mode. But I need y'all to let me know. Do I got this in the fucking bag? Do I secure the bag or not? Holy fuck! Oh shit!
Ken, Leo, are you all right? Yeah. Ken, Ken. Dingo. I defeated Anubis. Are you hurt? Everywhere. I'll ask for aid. I have some wounded. Can you pick them up? I'll send a ship immediately. Dingo, I think that's your name. I have to let you know this. Know what? That frame, Jehuti, is programmed to blow up at the core of Almon. Leo already told me about that. The programmer is, is one of us. One of our comrades named Alan. He added the program to the Ada system. Why? Just in case, for fear that Bahram might capture Jehuti. If they take Jehuti into Almon, Jehuti will blow itself up. We expected that the energy could interrupt Almon's startup process. That's sneaky. But we thought of it as a last resort. If we could, we'd rather get Jehuti back. Why did you abandon it on Callisto? It was Leo who hid Jehuti in Callisto. If Baram captures Jehuti, Jehuti would blow itself up in Almon. He hid Jehuti and tried to stop Almon by himself. I see. So you mean Jehuti doesn't need to blow up anymore? If so, remove it now. It's impossible. Just in case Baram tried to remove it, we added it to the nucleus of the system. There must be another way to stop Almon. We don't need to blow up Jehuti. In case of need, Ada will start up the explosion system automatically. It's programmed to do so. That's nonsense. If Almon... Wait! You gotta be fucking kidding me! Bruv! I just put down the controller! I'm not ready! If this is what I think it's gonna be. Cause I don't remember that- Oh my fucking god! Okay. Um... Okay, so I lost the original chat. And chat thing, so I know Nocturne said some stuff about the game. Uh, about how he understands my feelings towards it, and blah blah blah. And uh, I appreciate, I did not hear Emmy's whole thing, because she's so focused on her own game. Uh, okay, you got this. You got this. I'm no longer hubs, Emmy. We got div we got divorced. You didn't tell me. That hurts. That hurts. Um, you got this. Be autocorrect, please. Just use the rainbow door. It goes with everything. It does go with everything. Found the fucking door, but goddamn realm of magic. Goddamn realm of magic, indeed. Also, guys, uh, if you guys did not see the whole thing with Jehuti. Uh, new design. This is an armor skin I don't care for because it looks disgusting. But uh, I digress because full heal and this shit probably about to happen to forward to. So let's dive in. It's the end for you, Noman. Same for Baram. <laughs> Anubis was swallowed up. The real power of Almon is not to attack the surface using compressed space. What? The real power is from energy constriction. It makes the best use of Metatron's superiority. Space compression. That energy will swallow the entire solar system. That's serious. Please, stop it now. People on Earth always do what is convenient for them. Please. Then promise me, if I stop this, Earth will never meddle with Mars again, ever. We have our own free will. What? Free Mars. I understand. I'll definitely make it happen. Tell this to the obstinate ones. If they don't understand it, next time I will battle with them. I swear. Trust me. Dingo, 
Ken, I got another job. What are you going to do? If I die, please revive me again. You're not going to die. Wait in the ship. I'll be back soon. Just when you think this couldn't get any better of a game, the story does this. One last hurrah for our favorite boy with Jehuti. Is Jehuti going to die? I'm not at liberty to say. Is Jehuti going to live? Again, I'm not at liberty to say. Time compression. One day I will perfect the zero gravity shift, aka the zero shift, which just compresses time. One day I will perfect it. Today is not that day. But this is like a enhanced mode. Jehuti and the design I don't like because the face. Yeah, we got to do this again. Guys, I know it was over before, but now we've reached the final stage. Will this be the end of me? Will this be the end of Barum? I know I said this before already, but that's because this is made by the same genius that gave us the Metal Gear Solid franchise. Also, that one game about you getting a fetus where you then power it by shoving a co coil that's suspiciously, suspiciously going through your anus called Dead Stranding. Your power source is a baby. The cord goes through your rectum. Norman Reedus was naked. Yourself, Noman. Although, to be frank, this isn't a fight with Noman anymore. This is a fight with Amon. So this is a continuation fight with Anubis because it's with the essence of pure destruction. No longer Noman. So thematically, it's not the same person. Does that make sense to anyone besides me? Or am I just, am I just really fascinated by this game and kind of just give it some leeway because thematically it's awesome? But you guys can freely give me what your thoughts are at this whole finale. I'm not opposed to hearing people say, "Oh, this sucks. It's so pretentious and blah blah," because it can be viewed as pretentious. You're very right in your assumption to view that. It's 
kind of why I like having a dichotomy to where I can appreciate what people state, but still stick to my core values for things. Like my hatred for Evangelion, because it's just pretentious garbage. And trying to be edgy for the sake of being edgy and having probably one of the worst protagonists be put to pencil and paper. Get your bitch ass back here. I'm about to do to you what I wish I could do to a... Wait, no, I can't say that. That'd be viewed as sexist. I was gonna say what I was gonna do to Nick's mom for being an utter cool. See you next Tuesday. Wait, hold on. How am I doing better than I did back in the day? Have I finally learned? How to get good scrub? Is this finally the era of the get good scrub? Is this the era of V being the get good scrub succeeding? Is ya boy finally out of the... You did bad boy. Mentalata. Cause when I first did this fight years ago, I was dead after I got him down to just one fourth of the meter. Now we're at half health with him. Half health, my G's. Half fucking health. Have I finally gotten to the get good scrub done right mentality? Because I have completed a uh, three, ha uh, one half of a no damage, uh, no uh, special abilities run of a game, and I'm almost able to do a no entire game without being damaged once. I will try to uh, do a full blown 100%. song stream. What's this song stream? Uh, that's the stream where I actually perform music for you guys uh, live for the first time. Like I will invest my invest my shit into uh, getting a brand new uh, setup stuff, get some brand new cameras set up and everything. I'll do it out of pocket because I don't want to have you guys pay for that to happen. I might do like one uh, crowdfund stream for like the new microphones because I I need the new song microphone, which would also be like a podcast micro. Yo, I got him in the red without dying once yet. Okay, I have. I can appreciate the fact that I got him down to the red. But the fact that I was able to do it first go, him in the red, no caps. Your boy feel like he finally is in that he's a real gamer mentality again. I think I just needed games like this and the friends I've acquired along the way to kind of get me back into uh, the best place. Oh, right, I should probably explain. So, when it comes to, like, the red dots, you're supposed to use your shield 
to prevent any damage to come through, and then just hold the shield before he sends out the giant laser, which is as the main distraction. You're supposed to use that whole thing as a timing mechanism, make sure you can evade everything, to then do a no hold bard thing, because you can do this without getting damaged once. It's not impossible, it's just stupid. Why? Because I don't like to do no damage runs unless I have to. Or unless I'm super confident. Which, for this game, I am not. Get back here, you bastard! I'm well aware, Ada! Does not change the fact that we still gonna get our asses kicked a little bit. This won't take as many tries as the previous fight phase, but goddamn. Oh yeah, did I mention he recovers health? Yeah, this fucker recovers health! Do you guys see now why I dread a lot of these encounters with Noman? Out of all the bot on live streams, out of all those brilliant fuckers, Noman is the one I have the most issue with because he's the antithesis of what I fear in an antagonist. Methodical, on par with all the skills acquired for your protagonist, and more than anything else, he's driven not by greed, not by simple desires, He's listening to a god. A god, people. What god? The very god that we've been absorbing the whole time. Metatron! Okay, let's... I saw, like, save in the corner of my eye, so we're gonna save now. I have a feeling we're not going to... Oh dear god! Already out the gate with that shit. Just like, no. Fuck you. Fuck everything about you. Fuck your mama. Fuck your daddy. Fuck your sister. Fuck your brother. Fuck your grandpa. Gra fuck your grandma. Fuck your cousins. Fuck your family dog. It's like, not the family dog. Yeah, especially fuck the family dog. I'm gonna shoot you with a fucking cannon laser. That's the energy Noman gives off right now. Cause he's salty. He knows the end is near. He knows the stream is about to end. Boy is like, I don't want this to ever end. Your boy can't afford it to end. Oh dear God, let me finish the job and kill you. Granted, I know you're no longer Noman anymore. You're Anma, Alman, but still, let me kill you. I have things to do. I was supposed to end this stream literally a couple of minutes ago. Granted, I was supposed to stream earlier too, but eh, you do what you can. 
Plus, I haven't been feeling well, y'all. Like, I was supposed to stream three times this week. Now there's only two. Unless y'all want me to come back Sunday. I don't know, y'all want to deal with me on a Sunday? Don't y'all want to talk to Jesus or whoever your god is? Like, I don't judge people's religious preferences. I'm just like, do y'all really want to spend a Sunday with ya boy? All we'd be doing is just probably playing a game I haven't played in a hot minute. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Don't you dare heal! You smarmy fuck nugget, don't you dare fucking heal! You are not allowed to heal. If I'm not allowed to heal a little bit from the f giant fractions of deteriorated health that you've given me with your goddamn lasers, then I want to hear shit from you, Noman. Oh, I'm the wretch. Well, guess what, Noman? Guess the fuck what? This wretch is about to kill you. You first. Is the beginning of the end. Am I the only one that saw how bullshit that was? Had him dead to rights. How did he win? How? 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 How the fuck did you win? Like, I know I wasn't hallucinate. He was at worse health than me. How the fuck did this man win? Oh, now I'm mad. Now I'm so goddamn mad. I am so fucking mad. Your boy is not happy. Especially since this fuckhole is trying to heal! Sick of your shit now! I'm sick of your shit! I am s fucking heavens with your goddamn bullshit. Look, man. I am a very patient, very angry man. Get your bitch ass back here, cause I was almost done with you the first time. Still doing better than Noman.
Meow, 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 meow. Catch these fucking hands, bitch. Now these nuts. I have nothing left that's clever or even sassy. I'm just done. Just drop dead already. Bruh, see what I mean about the stupid laser tactic? You can block it all fucking day. Soon as you start blocking, he hits you with that stupid cannon laser. That's such a goddamn bullshit tactic. And the AI knows this. Fuck. You. Noman. Matter of fact, whoever is editing this, I feel like I know it's gonna either be Nick or Anonymous, which is funny, because Anonymous's name is also tied to a joke character that my uh, Sibs and I made for our old podcast back in the day. We had 96 episodes of that shit. 96 episodes of that podcast. Now I don't even re we're on height. But you so nervous for it, no man, I thought you had the ultimate power, you simple motherfucker. I thought you said I was the wretch, but look at you and your bitch ass. I'm gonna hide behind these shields and cheat the system, cause I'm a lowly motherfucker that ain't got nothing going on anymore. <laughs> Fuck off with your goddamn block and tentacle things. So, since Nocturne's been the most vocal, Emmy, how do you feel about this final boss? I want to get everyone's opinions. Because this is the kind of collective I, I have. I want everyone's opinions, because everyone's opinions matter. Oh god, I can finally smell again. Holy fuck. Never get a stuffy nose during the tail end of summer, yo. You first. You first, motherfucker! What's the matter, Nolan? You scared, bitch? On my last mission, you sacrificed us. Understand? You killed my comrades! So what? Those scum died so ungracefully, I wanted to see it with my own eyes. They're waiting for you now. This is it!
What is that light? Alman is starting up. What? Ada! Don't come in! Dingo, this is... Get out of here! You cannot escape from Alman's radiating energy. What should I do? By blowing up Jyoti, the reactor will lose control. The resonance of energy will cancel each other out. No! Ada! It is my duty. Switching mode. I am ready to blow up Jehuti to complete 200. No! Leo! Ah! The light is constricting. It's too late. Impossible. 190 remaining. Don't give up! Ada, radiate Jehuti's energy and strike it against the core of Alman. That's not enough. If it doesn't work, do whatever you please. 180 remaining. But don't just wait to die. Created to destroy all. By the way, we, the trophy we earned was it's over for real. It's finally over, guys. The long journey of Zone of the Enders, the second runner, is over. Oh my god. 
Someone get me an uptime for all of this. Holy fuck. Anubis. If Jehuti and Anubis were even, the ignition power would be even too. That thing is better suited for that role. Did I disobey orders? Never mind, Ada. What? It's okay. Use power for the right things. At least for the things that you believe in. <laughs> so who's second hand? <laughs> Your father. This time, make my body normal. Don't you like it as it is? <sighs> That's way too big. You got it. I trust you. Oh my god. Okay, um... A lot of great talent was in this. A lot of great moments were in this. I don't think I've been this hype or this invested in something to try and get to a lot of different angles for a long time. And hold on, guys, I, I'm being serious. I need an uptime, like, right the fuck now. Your boy needs to know how long he's been live for. Because I don't know. I feel like there was a lot of time up. Almost four hours! Holy shit! But, oh boy, guys, we did it. We did it. Um, am I ever gonna replay this game? Maybe someday in the future we'll bring this back like a Shadow of the Colossus at some point. You know, just as like a whole, we played this, and uh, blah 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 reasons, blah 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 things to do, blah 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 blah. Do I still wish there was a third one of these games? Absolutely. I always wish. 
there was a third one of these titles. This game, especially, out of a lot of games I've ever played, if I ever wished for one thing to get another installment, it's this franchise. Zone of the Enders is one of those super in-depth um, mech-based hack-and-slash games that needed more love and attention more than most franchises I've, do I've dove into. Bar and fucking none. I never get bored whenever I look into footage of this, or I look into gameplay action for this, when I do anything for Zone of the Enders. Is it perfect? No. Is it one of the most standoffish games that kind of did its own thing? I would say yes. Did it have its own unique problems that most games don't have today? Well, yeah, but that's because we got we can look at it in retrospect to see that there's some stuff that in play that wasn't as strong as it was supposed to be. But that has no variant on this game being a whole giant cornerstone of incredibleness. It is so satisfying just diving into this and doing your all for everything and all things. And if you guys have the opportunity to buy this game, do so. Hit up Kojima himself and say, let's push for that third installment. I want it. I know a couple of fans want it. And I know it would be a great addition to the overall sales for mecha games. Um, so now this is done, uh, Plague Tale. Plague Tale is next on the stream until finished uh, repertoire. Where we might do it tomorrow, cause my friends canceled on me, cause haha, <laughs> financial 2021, <laughs> Um, Hideo Kojima. So tomorrow, if I wake up in time, we're gonna do a long stream of A Plague Tale. Not gonna do all the endings, cause I know there are multiple endings. Just gonna get one ending, and we're done. I don't care. I. Unlike this game, I'm not that invested. I just want to get it done and get it over with. Um, yeah, we got a lot of different labs. Nocturne got some new commands to torture me with. And once this and Plague Tale are done, we can get back to having a regular schedule of Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. You guys like that kind of schedule? Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays? Cause I could just make it like two days a week if that helps. If it helps. I don't know. Um, but yeah. This has been Zone of the Enders the second runner. There's room for another story. But uh Let's see. Clear time seven hours, thirty seven minutes, forty two seconds. Enemies destroyed four thousand eighty consecutive Attacks 255, score that continues, 26s, uh, save, save 16, Basilica event, A, Melee event, S, overall rating, we got a B, Professor, I'll accept that. And, uh... Since with that, guys, there's just this one itty bitty thing. Uh, you see here, before we only had question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, blah, blah, blah. This is the extra missions segment. This is something to do for like a completionist sake and whatnot, but that's not the important thing. The important thing here is the versus mode. You've completed the game. You are you're able to unlock these specific units to use for when you want to play with your friends to test who has the better offensive abilities 
and who has just the overall great tactics when it comes to using your mechs from playing the game essentially. Using extra missions allows you to unlock all the missing characters that you need to kind of get yourselves even more engrossed in what you want to do. But it's just a matter of do you want to get through all those things. And that's what we might do for like a whole big thing of I come back to this, we do the extra missions, and we kind of delve into more stuff for the universe that was from Zone of the Enders, the second runner. As such, we're going to dive into some more stuff that I didn't have time to get into that I really feel like should have been gotten into. You get what I mean? I feel like you get what I mean. So, after four hours of this, Oh, right, this is uh, the VR segment that I didn't want to do. Because you can play this game in VR, by the way. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. Our first over four-hour based stream that we haven't done in a long time. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. I would do a raid, but because my main screen that I do this stream stuff on is out of battery, um, I'll just see you guys either tomorrow or Tuesday. We're going to be doing Neo, The World Ends With You. So, peace.